Hello and welcome to Monster Train. Today's intro is going to be in the style of famed stand-up comedian and honestly just icon Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, so here you go. Uh, what's the deal with Seraph the patient? He certainly doesn't seem to be very patient in the speed at which he kills me. Thank you. Tip your waitress. Let's play Monster Train. That's the end of the bit. I don't, you know, I watched like, I went through a little period of time where I was like, I should learn a little bit more about comedy. Stand-up comedy is not something that I enjoy, but I should watch some stand-up comedy. I watched some bit of, uh, not really, a bit, uh, like a stand-up routine from Seinfeld from like 2004. And he made, uh, I don't think that he actually makes a joke about airline food, but in my mind he makes a joke about airline food, because of course he does. I don't think Jerry Seinfeld has ever made a joke about airline food, and yet, somehow, I feel like if you were to ask me something about Jerry Seinfeld, I would respond with, what's the deal with airline food? The only joke that I really remember from that routine is one where he's like, it, it's, it was something that I remember just because I went, yeah. I actually just agree with this. It, he go, He talks about how... You ever, have, you ever have someone say, oh, if you see so-and-so, say hi to them for me? And his response to this hypothetical is, no, say hi to them yourself. And something about that, just like the, oh, hey, tell them I said hi, and then the no. I remember that, and it resonates with me. If you see yourself liking this video, say hi to you for me. Also, don't forget to comment and subscribe, but we can begin now. As Feeling like, feeling, I was feeling a little Seinfeld today. We have uh, default stage and default Hellhorn. Oh yeah, one more thing I want to mention. The DLC for this game has been, uh, the, do the date has been announced, March 25th. That is about a month and a half away from now, a little over so. Pretty cool, pretty exciting. Yes, I have seen it. Uh, looking forward to it, very much so. I'm looking forward to this DLC releasing. Now we can begin. Pushback Tower. Oh no, it's Pushback Towers and we have Tathis. <sighs> Shadow Arc is diligent. Sorry, I have Flash Freeze, Fortify, Preserve. It'll be fine because we have Flash Freeze, but I'm still gonna say, ugh, gross. Gurg's Goat is fine. The interesting thing is, like, I would take Gurg's Goat if we weren't Stygian. I'm probably not gonna play Demons anyway. Probably not picking up a Horned Warrior for that. And chillin'. Fine with me. Absolutely fine with me. I don't like taking spikes here. We're fine, generally speaking. Maybe we're just fine. I can play, I can kill three of them per turn, you know? I think this is okay. Maybe this trial will bite me, but in theory I should be able to kill three of them per turn myself by playing... Uh, frozen lances, so maybe not exactly three, but an average of two to three per turn should die. And the total number we have to kill is like eight. Plus a few more, I guess. I can also let a single one go up because it'll just die to the train steward if it is worst comes to worst. What is that sentiment or sentence saying? Is it worst comes to worst or worst comes to worst? Or is it worse comes to worse? I think it's worse comes to worse. The meaning behind it being uh, the bad becomes the absolute baddest, the worst. Something that is worse than, so like it's something is bad and then there's something that is worse than bad and then you have the worst. And the idea of the sentiment is that if the worst outcome becomes the worst outcome, Am I muted, by the way? Just check in. That would be the worst outcome for this video. This is my hypothesis on what this sentiment is supposed to mean. Probably not a sentiment, but a sentence. An idiom? Saying? Phrase? Regardless. That combat had not a whole lot of interesting decision making, so I just talked. You know how it is. I don't actually like many of these spells. Crypt Builder's okay, I guess. I will click it. Crypt Builder is fine. Hornbreak's okay, Molting Imp is fine. Hornbreak's not great because we have Torch. I could be convinced to take Molting Imp here. A lot of times I go, ah, Molting Imp. 
and then Molting Imp appears in my run on the last boss and saves my life. So, Multi Strike and Imp can't gain armor too are really good upgrades for a Siren. Okay, we're gonna win this run. I have a very strong suspicious suspicion that we're going to win this run. I should warn you, it's very late and I am borderline not really incoherent, but it's not the the commentary brain, it seems to be the first aspect of the brain to go. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this unit draft. But like I just I, I raided today and I raid lead now more or less. My my guild leader and I we have an unwritten understanding that is basically just I raid lead and she tells people to leave if they need to leave. And I just like call the shots and say here's what we're doing next and all of that. But it's a lot. Like I gotta say, I definitely underestimate how much mental for me mental power it takes to lead the raid in WoW. It's quite a bit. So as you can see by the fact that I just went completely off topic there, uh, I'm a little bit a little bit spacey today, and that's okay. This episode, I have... I'm pretty sure this is a softball being tossed to me by the game right about now. Unless I died a High Priest here. I don't. I can do... Double Frozen Lance for the kill? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We took two for the trial here. I wasn't really afraid. I mean, we have the Siren. We're just gonna take space and make two of her plus something to tank. Pethys is gonna go in timeout. I'll take Offering Token, it's free money. Boulder Helper is decent. Vent is what I want. Vent is what I want. Yeah. Rail Beater. Mm. I think I'll skip that. Nameless Siren, Armor Shark, or Hot Shark. Those are on, a, on the wish list right now. Hot Shark, that works. And then I... yeah, large stone. Sounds fine to me. Large stone, endless... actually no, large stone does not sound fine to me, sorry. Almost, almost made a mistake there. I'm gonna duplicate Siren and maybe Shark. And that'll be one, one Shark to Frontline for the Sirens, one Shark to just chill. Multi-strike again, huh? What a, what a good set. I was looking for endless here just in case they had it. I could have double, double multi-strike, although I don't like it. Oh dear. Times fiving Nameless Siren is really bad. We could make the Shark Pyramid, but I also don't particularly care for that strategy in this run. I'll just take one more Nameless Siren. We are, like, th this run is, hey, we got a good Stygian unit and the perfect upgrades for it. Time to win. And I have no problem with that, because as I was mentioning, the, uh... The deeper workings of the brain, the inner inner machinations, if you will, are functionally breaking down. I am borderline unable to formulate coherent sentences, as you can hear by the way that my voice is working through these sentences. It's a struggle. What I'm trying to say to you is it is a struggle. However, I will persevere because rain or shine, the monster train gets to you on time. And only you. No, for no one else. This video is actually late for everyone that is not you. If you're watching this right now, you're one of the chosen special ones. Everyone else is watching this video later. Probably. Don't, uh, don't ask me to cite my sources. I don't have any. I'm just going to focus on incanting here. The, the thing about this run is it is free. Like, this is, this is the thing about this run. I'm gonna torch Tethys. We are in such a dominant position. Wow, I didn't even lose my Tethys. That is crazy. The only thing that I can even imagine, because you know me, I'm sitting here, I'm trying to think of how this run loses. I can imagine losing if I run out of incants on Sarah. So we're gonna work on finding something that fixes that. We aren't awoken, so we don't get one of the free answers to that, i.e. Vine Mother or the Sting Relic. However, we could just add a few more spells to the deck, it's not a big deal. 
think I lowered the volume of the music recently. I remember lowering the volume of something recently and going, it's better to be safe than sorry on this run. I don't remember if that was Monster Train or something else, though. Yeah, we are in a... we're in a good spot. I'm pretty confident. My 400 damage floor on Talos makes me feel pretty good. Uh, I am afraid of running out of spells, so taking gifts seems ill-advised. Ancient Synergy is okay, but I don't think we need a 3-cost spell here. I don't need anything from this clan, and we're taking Light of Seraph. More space for Sirens. Pethos is just going to kind of go sit alone, and we're going to grab a Shark to tank for the Sirens, and we'll give one of them Endless and one of them more health, I guess, because the duplication's right here. I could also just play Triple Siren, I guess. I'm worried about one of them dying in a later combat is the issue. But maybe Triple Siren. I could also have played something with armor. It feels right to just take a second shark if I want something. It also makes it so that I will usually have the shark in time to kill backline. Mm, or I could just duplicate another siren and go triple siren. I don't really like triple siren though. I feel like it's too fragile. I'm gonna do this. I'm... Uh, conduit is good. Conduit is good. Yeah, conduit is good here. Conduit means that I might be taking double space, though, which is kind of weird, because I can't fit Tethys and the Shark on the floor. I should have looked at that first. I didn't think of the Conduit Tethys pop up there. Because Tethys is now useful. But weird, right? Very, very strange. We'll kind of get feel it out. Thank you, Imp. Very cool. We'll kind of we'll kind of feel this one out a little bit. I'll see where it's going. We got a lot of options. I'm not going to be particularly picky. Oh, I actually could have gotten that. Uh, collector. Huh. Too bad. Maybe the duplicated shark was not required whatsoever, and it's actually potentially just bad? Hmm. I wonder. If nothing else, he can just get frozen and act as a backup, but maybe it's better just to have the extra siren out sooner. I'm not sure. It's a bit of a thinker, right? I definitely don't want to go double space. I feel like we want the draw, because we have Conduit Hathus now, which is good. Maybe I could put two plus 25s on an imp, and that can act as our buffer. Now that's a thought right there, let me tell ya. That, that sentence, that's a thing. Molting him with 2 plus 25s, is there anything this guy can't do? What's the deal with molting him? What is he, molting or molting? I'm, I'm workshopping that one, sorry, that one's, that one's not ready to see, that's not, that's not ready for mortal consumption, that one's still transcendent. I'm still working on my jokes not transcending comedy into tragedy. Comedy, tragedy, etc, etc. Ice Storm sounds fine. Uh, I don't like any of these. Maybe Battering Ram. I don't think Battering Ram counts for Tethys, but maybe it does. It'd be pretty silly looking too, but I'm okay. Could do it though. I could have done it. Okay, I'm gonna go left here because I'd like to spend money. Cost reductions are worse. Holdover is good. Plus 10 onto vent is good. Remove consume doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, permafrost is whatever. We have two sources of that effect already. I will just put plus 10 on ice storm. And we will purge a train steward or two. I will not be removing any base spells from this deck, and then I'll probably just go up. I'll probably go up to like a little bit higher on spells. Uh, Umbra is good. It's Prismal Dust. I was hoping for Space Prism. I guess I should have taken Prismal Dust. It's just a free in cannon in its worst cases. Yeah, I should have clicked that for sure. I don't think we're in a position where it's going to matter, but I should have taken that. I will take this trial because I like money and we're ahead. Okay. 
I do take a little bit here. Take six. Not the end of the world, but you're gonna start to see it, I think, here, where our sirens start to get chipped away at bit by bit. Uh, and also sometimes we can just miss shark, which will be equally awkward. Same amount of fire damage if I play it this way. 12, 12. I can put one more and go to 8, but I'm gonna take the money. We're maximizing greed here. I desire the dollars. Yeah, you see, you gotta watch out for these, though. That's the main concern. Watch out for stuff like this. Could have played Crypt Builder first, I suppose. We have sharks to hopefully not have that ever happen, but sometimes that might happen. We have answers, it's just a little awkward because it's only in Can't Gain Armor 2 that we're working with here, which is not super large. So as time goes on, we're going to reach a point where it's not uh, enough, I think. Tethys dies in one hit to the boss anyway, so I can just use Tethys to save some health on the sirens. Freeze the flash freeze. There's our shark back, right? Oh, maybe I just... Oh, I see it. Do you see it now? Because I just saw it there. In a momentary flash of brilliance, I saw the line. Once I've played everything, I just kill Tethys. And then I throw the shark down. For the boss, because, like, they'll be okay, most likely, otherwise. I can just kill Tethys. That makes sense, I think. Sure. I'm like, I'm putting a lot more thought into this than I feel needs to be put into this, although maybe it was a little close. You never know. It's worth it to at least give the game the basest amount of respect here, I suppose. Unnamed Tome is solid. Glacial Seal is, uh, funny. Haha. <laughs> Rage Serum is a free enhant. And we have two Rage Sirens, so... You know. Uh, removals are no longer particularly interesting to me. I'm not super excited about removals. Endless on Shark is pretty good though. But we'll still go this way. I will make removals, I'll just do it and I'll go as I do it. Oh my god, am I gonna play the imp? Nah, I'm not gonna play the imp. I could have like, the runestone, frenzy stone, every shop is a, a dream. Although no endless is a bit of a nightmare. It's alright, though. Don't give me the space event here. Oh, too bad. Awoken's Rail Spike is okay. I'm just gonna leave it. Although, maybe I should grab one of these. I'm just gonna leave it, but maybe I should grab one of those just to have as a free consume. So, as I remove cards here, I'm gonna go, ah. I'm gonna take out Torch, and I'm gonna go, ah. Ah, I don't know. It's probably fine, but... I'm not 100% confident. I'm like... 87% confident is the number that I would give you for my confidence level here. Gotta watch out, make sure I don't accidentally uh, play on the floor that cannot be played on. We are fine, of course, but gotta watch out. Keep the old eyes peeled. I'll save the, the silence. I think that there's harvest later in this fight that I'm going to desire a silence for. Hey, we're playing a big encant setup. I'm gonna go to Super Ultra for the encants. Hopefully you don't mind. Don't play that. Actually, play the imp and then just kill it. It's fine. Yeah. Lots of, lots of ways to go through this, it feels like. Feels like there's a lot of options. There's a harvest coming up. Next wave, I believe, is harvest. Or I could just be absolutely out of my mind. That's also a possibility that I did not consider. Is it? No, maybe there's no harvest. Maybe that's a different fight. And I am out of my gourd. I want to play this shark top floor. I definitely do not want to let Arcus hit my sirens without any buffering. So I'm going to deal with it. Yeah, I guess there is not anything else here. I am just losing my marbles. 
Have you seen my marbles, really? You are not going to die. Huh. I mean, I guess that's fine. Doesn't really make a difference, I suppose. Just remember to kill Tethys. I'm gonna freeze a torch for Tethys here. Oh, I need to freeze two torches. Whoa. That would be awkward, wouldn't it? Nothing to silence them, man. We'll just silence them. Yeah, it's not a concern, but we may, you know, I formulated the plan. We may as well follow the plan to its completion here. Goodbye, Tethys. Hello, Shark. This is a strategy that is only made possible by Icicle Fracture, and I will say a thank you to Icicle Fracture. Siren Song is good here. And I'm not going double space. I think we're fine to just take draw here. Conduit Tethys feels like it wants you to take draw also. More spells. I clicked this thinking about the removals, but I don't want to remove. That's right. How could I forget? I'm gonna toss out Molting Imp, I guess. He doesn't need to be here anymore. He's been replaced. And then... I don't know. Probably just nothing else. Maybe one Frozen Lance. I'll do one Frozen Lance. But 26 cards is a little shaky. I'll pay higher health. Vigiled Seaweed? That is really, really good against Sarah of the Diligent. That is super, super good. I love Sigiled Seaweed a lot. Big ol' big ol' Sigiled Seaweed fan myself. Uh, I don't care which one of these I pick. I know that Conduit 2 has a very minor benefit, but I clicked it just because it called to me. I was feeling it. I'm not taking this trial. I'm not having steel on this combat. It's frightening. Good silence. And we are middle four gaming today. Fine. Double siren draw is optimal here. I am going to have this man hit me a little bit. It's okay, I like it. I also missed the collector, but we are in such a far ahead position on income, I do not care about money. This is what I was uh, foreseeing where we have trouble keeping up. Should have played the vent a uh, second. Like, the front siren is just gonna lose her armor. If this were a harder combat, we would be in a much worse position. However, it isn't. So it doesn't matter. Over the back, it doesn't matter. He lives or dies. I don't remember what the boss is. When I don't remember what the boss is, it's usually the trample boss. However, I am not confident in that. Definitely not confident in that being trample boss. So, I'll hold the unnamed tome just in case it's uh, someone else. Also, I need to torch Tethys a few times. Love the sound Tethys makes when she gets torched. Little blast. I like that. Hey, look at that. Also, the excess shark actually does not need to be here because of Endless now, with the way that I'm playing this, which is interesting as well. Because I have an Endless Shark, he's just doing all the work. Yeah. That's okay. I mean, we got pretty lucky on this combat, I will, I will say. If this were a more damaging combat, we would be probably losing there. However, it's not, so we are not. I will skip. I will skip. I should probably have picked some of those cards just in case Sarah runs me out. Don't go to removals. Yeah, go left. I kind of just want to duplicate a spell to have like an extra consume option. Oh, never mind. We won like crazy. What the fuck? Oh, we super won. Never mind. We got Railhammer. All right. It is Giga over. I'm going to duplicate Fortify because it pre-triggers. You know, hold over vent sounds fine. It is like, it is super over. Take Siren Song to zero. I cannot imagine a world where we die here. 
I mean, I guess I can. I, I mapped it out for you already. If I run out of spells to incant with, we could hit a wall, perhaps. Then lose space. Top four. Great news. I'm going to consume offering token first. Good draw. I am just gonna put the big shark down here because I realize now that I don't need to, and so the second shark is just here to. I don't know. I don't know exactly what he's here to do, but he's gonna do it. God damn it. And the shark can go behind me. And we just freeze Vengeful Shard for fun. Now look at these armor numbers skyrocket because it's plus six for Incant now. These numbers are gonna get large. Make sure I'm consuming consume cards is the next tenant of this run. But like, we are. I guess I took five there. Or ten even. I'm definitely not respecting this by utilizing my brain. I should... So one thing that I should look out for... Eh, God, what am I saying? It does not matter. We are so ahead. This is holdover. I can just hold it over for the 15th grade. Did every purifier get silent sigil? See, we you absolute legend. I'm going to freeze flash freeze here. I'm gonna just freeze that one up. Dude, th this is crazy hits off of it. It's silencing everything. Nothing can make noise. I'm absolutely loving it. Yeah. I didn't even think about hitting Railhammer to win. I, I did not even cross my mind. For some reason in my mind, on my list of uh, things that are bonkers in this game to get free wins with, Railhammer plus Incant Gain Armor 2 does not register. I do not have a good answer as to why not. But I'll let you know if I find out. I accidentally played that card I was holding, the Flash Freeze. That's okay. I'm fairly confident that is fine. Took my first curse of the combat here. I'm gonna not play Siren Song also, because I, I just take damage. There's no reason to. Park those here. I will not kill Tethys yet, but soon. And by soon, I mean next turn. Yeah. Yeah, take 10, I guess. I just said I didn't want to do that, and then I did it, because I am actually just an agent of chaos, and you cannot uh, deign to know what I will do next. Oh, hey, interesting. The frostbite from Tethys actually made a pretty meaningful difference in the combat turns. Eh, alright. I was correct when I said this run felt like a softball. This run was, uh, in other sports terms, this run was a layup. This run was a... Uh, penalty kick, maybe? This run was a, uh, sh a, pen a shootout. Uh, not like a, not with guns, but with like a overtime in hockey, the free, free shot, shot on goal. I'm, I'm going to bed. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you would like to see more. I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.